Let's go outside and take a quick walk around the shop. See what's going on out here. This is uh, Sean still working on this 54. Sean and Isaiah. You're, what are you doing up here, Sean? Got a second? Tell me what yeah. you're doing. I got all the upper mounts oh, wow. welded in for the upper control arms, which right. I integrated the shockwave mount and the control arm bracket together. Mm -hmm. And then when I did it, it's all plug welded in to the wow, spring yeah. perch. I made side brackets to hold it in place. Um, I make everything by hand. Uh, I like to have it in place in front of me and right. know it's going to work and sure. instead of waiting to have stuff sent out. Um, everything lined up real good. I'm super cool. happy with it. It's going to now be a sliding control arm mm -hmm. for shims, so it'll be a little bit easier to do alignments on if right. needed. Awesome. Um, got all everything set up with the shock legs in there. Yesterday afternoon I made the lower mount. So, yeah, Steering's she's all, going she's in. Getting yeah. in there. Yeah, and she's then you've close. already got everything ready for the engine to mount in, right? Yes, sir. Yep. I also did both engine mounts, which are also integrated into the upper spring right, yeah. and everything flows together. It's right. all welded together, so no matter what, it's nice and stiff and strong. I don't have to worry about anything breaking, extra weight. Right, right. And then, you know, if he wants to hit the switches hard when the shockwave is in there, he can do it. That's right, yeah. Cool. And I'm a form and function guy. <laughs> right? <laughs> Well, that's cool. Now, they've uh, redone a lot of the sheet metal underneath here. Isaiah did a lot of this, and he's still working on the back, I believe. Correct? He's still, oh, yeah. Yeah, there's uh, still a lot of stuff going on back here. With the bigger wheels and tires, we got, he's got a lot of sheet metal. Yeah, he, do. yeah. see, you can see the C-notch has been done. Everything's looking nice underneath here. The axle's in. The bags are in. Oh, yeah, he did a great job on the Yeah, bike. yeah, cool. Awesome. It turned out super clean. Yeah. That is the 54 Chevy. Let's go over here and take a look at the Gasser, one of our customers. I believe we took this motor out of this vehicle. We sent it off, had the motor rebuilt, and we've set it back in there. And there's a few tweaks we needed to do to where the... Um, Supercharger sat on it, or excuse me, um, <clears throat> the uh, turbo. It's all been moved forward. We had to remodify this bracket because the uh, exhaust, when it came off the back, you could see it was hitting right here. So we had to move this bracket forward to get the supercharger right. Turbo. The turbo. The big one on the floor over there. The big one on the floor behind me. So that's what we're doing to this right. Right, oh, there it is. That one's sitting right there, that turbo. Yeah, it's that big monster on the floor right Yeah. So that's what's going on with this 48. And then CJ's over here working on the Hot Wheels tribute truck. He came out to take pictures. Did you take any pictures, CJ? Honestly, I didn't. I honestly got right into that someday. Just got right into it, huh? Yeah. What are you doing today? Quick uh, update. Two minutes. I, yesterday, well I guess it's been a while now, I uh, had this whole, like the whole front end off yesterday, but remounted the inner fender. Oh yeah, these are back, back on, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, I centered this to the center of the hood. Right. Um, had to redo like the way the hood mounts. Um, yeah, I'm messing with getting these to latch. So you're fine tuning this up here, yeah, huh? Yeah, it's kind of fine tuning. It's a lot, right. of, a lot of little stuff, um, but because you had to, you actually had this whole front off of here, oh, yeah. redoing a lot of the mounts that so were up in there, yeah, rewelding in new yeah. mounting brackets and stuff. And then you were telling me here we're gonna put some kind of fender or some kind of uh, a closure under here, right? Yeah, to the bottom. I like uh, bent this uh, line right here. So uh huh. We're gonna uh, make like an inner fender piece that comes sure. out this way that bolts to this frame. Right. You got to you got to protect right that there. motor from water somehow. Yeah. Yeah, and the same thing uh, on the firewall too. We're gonna do something on the back. The right back there. there to keep yeah. water from coming up. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. There's Dale. How you doing, Dale? All right. How are you? Pretty good. All right. Thanks, CJ. Yeah. <clears throat> Good morning. 1963 Chevrolet 
Impala Convertible Resto Mod we are working on. This is Nick's project. The motor's in it. I'm starting to get the radiator in it, that whatnot. This is the first time I believe I've seen this hood on it. We have a You say this is a 55 Chrysler Imperial? 55. 55, yeah, Imperial. Monster car. Monster car. But man, classy. Pretty nice. Alright, and then Cedric is working on, still working his 442. This is a uh, 65 Mustang that is in here, um, and it's just, it's held together by spit and tissue paper. <laughs> a lot of original stuff on here. And the Thunderbird, I believe it's getting close to going out of here. We've done some transmission work, I think. I'm not real sure. So many of them come and go. And these are all waiting on, this one had its transmission just shipped out. In fact, Zip is taking this transmission to New Smyrna today. This one, I believe the transmission is out of it. We're waiting on the transmission to come back on it. And both of these are waiting on motors. Been taken out and shipped off and we're waiting for them to come back. So there's a quick update here. Not all mechanics are in yet, but it's time for me to go home, so I do this one now. So thanks for watching.